hello everyone welcome back to another video today i will show how you can install and set up vs on, on a mac so let's get started so first open your favorite browser and uh, go to code.visualstudio.com to this website and then download the uh, mac universal stable bit for mac os you can also download for windows and linux if you have a different operating system so i'll just download the vs code for mac so i'll click on it and click on allow so it will go ahead and download the vs code so the download is now finished I'll just go to my download folder as you can see it is a zip file so I'll double click it to unzip it so the visual studio code has been unzipped now I will drag this folder into the application folder so I'll open another window so go to application now simply let me minimize the window now simply drag this visual studio code into the application folder as you can see it has been added to the application so let's check it as you can see vs code has been added so i'll just click it let me minimize these windows is asking whether you want to open it or not just click on open so these are the initial setup so you can go through them individually if you want to modify any settings such as colors and other contents now that the vs code is downloaded you can just install a few extensions so i'll go to the extensions tab if you are trying to develop python you can just install the python version so just go ahead and click install we will install a few more extensions for example we will install the live server this is a very handy extension we will learn about it uh, when we do some real coding we'll install another extension which is the material icon theme as you can see this is quite a popular icon theme so just click on install so it is asking for whether you want this theme to be activated click on activate so now the material icon theme is installed and activated now we'll go ahead and write some codes to see how it works so just click on the explorer tab and click on open folder you can specify any folder you want to open i'll just go ahead and write some html code so just click on open so it is asking me whether i trust the authors of this folder and uh, want to enable all features just check it and uh, click on yes so now the folder has been opened let's create a html file so i'll just name it index.html so now we can see if it works yes we can see the code is working so we'll do some appearance settings so let's see we can change the color theme so currently it is set to dark we can use any other themes for example this is the monokai one and uh, this is it you can also tweak some other settings as you can see so there are so many settings 
So we'll learn more about this when we uh, do some real coding. For example, since we installed the live server, we can actually check the, let me save this code. So, and then we can open this with live server. As you can see, there is nothing in this document. So we can just type something, for example, h1, hello, yes, good, save, as you can see, it has been automatically updated because we installed the live server extension. If we do some editing, and click on save as you can see it has been updating automatically so we'll dig deeper and look into some other features while we do some real coding in the next few tutorials so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye